Well, we're back with uh, Jacob Hamilton, who's done the movie Jump Shot, which is about Kenny Sailors, who really this is the person that you think and many think developed the original Jump Shot. Prior to 19, when was there virtually no Early jump shot? Early 1950s, but for sure 1940s is yeah, very and rare. And it's funny, if you look at Bobby Plump in Milan when he played Muncie, they're not doing too much of that either. They're just sort of passing the ball around. Yeah. Okay. So here's the big question. What could it be? Why is he not in the Hall of Fame? Uh, that is a great question. Yeah. I think a lot of people have asked that same question as well. Yeah. And, you know, there's, there's all kinds of different speculation. Um, ultimately, uh, a lot of his supporters believe that it's because when he retired from the game of basketball, he disappeared. I mean, essentially, he ended up homesteading in Alaska um, for several decades and just stepped away from the bo basketball uh, spotlight. Mm -hmm. Had he hung around and, you know, stuck with broadcasting or was a journalist, people might know who he is, mm -hmm. but um, he had other priorities uh, for his life, well, which we do dive in, into right? in the film, yeah. So what, he still could get in? He could, yeah. absolutely. So again, and I, we touched on this earlier, when he started doing this, people, maybe even coaches were saying, what are you doing? Doing. Well, they had no idea what to do. I mean, he, he's fortunate that his college coach yeah. even allowed it to happen. But he, he was smart enough to say, well, we're winning games, the, the so we're going to let the, coach the Wyoming was, yeah. coach. Was there anybody saying it was illegal? Uh, well, it wasn't illegal, but it was definitely not basketball, according to some coaches. Oh, so okay. his, uh, his rookie season, he played for the Chicago Stags, of, his rookie season of professional basketball yeah. in 1946. Um, his coach was Dutch Dainert, who was one of the original Boston Celtics. Um, and when he uh, was shooting his jump shot in practice one day, the coach came up to him and said, what are you doing shooting this leaping <laughs> one-hander? That's great. And uh, didn't want him to shoot it and benched him. Let's show a quick clip so we can meet Kenny now, and we'll talk more when we come out, okay? It's, it's evidently a pretty good shot. There's a lot of guys shooting it today. I ought to sue the NBA for using my shot without me getting anything out of it, shouldn't I? If I had a good lawyer, I'd do that. Sue them all for 5000 <laughs> I'd make a little money, couldn't I? Yeah. Gosh, I was nearly 27 years old when I went into the NBA. You know, these kids are going in today when they're 19. <laughs> yeah, they make millions. I didn't make, I think, man, they really paid me. I made $7,500 for the season. Now, that was big money in those days. A true gentleman. I mean, you must have felt that way when you interviewed him. Oh, 100%. Yeah, right. Humble Absolutely. man. Change the game of basketball. We're going to talk more about this when we come back in the final segment with Jacob. Sounds great. Dick, thanks so much. We'll check back uh, about 9.20 this yep. morning. Very interesting stuff. I'm going to go shoot some hoops. Yeah? Makes me want to go you won't mind the cold outside. getting outside? I may need to layer up a little bit this morning. Maybe a little bit better this afternoon, though.